Hello everybody! This video is about how to create a boot flash drive to install Windows 10 8.7. This procedure is necessary when your PC, laptop or netbook lacks a DVD drive or it doesn't work properly, if you have no system installation disk or you just don't like working with DVDs. There are many ways and methods to create a boot flash drive, but I will use only official methods. I'd like to note they are also the simplest. Here is the first method. All you need to, uh, to create a boot flash drive is a computer with UEFI instead of BIOS and the system image itself. It should be noted that all modern computers support UEFI. To begin, go to the Explorer, right-click on the flash drive and click on Format. Select the necessary file system, for example FAT32, choose Quick Format and click Start. You will see a warning that all data will be deleted. Click OK and wait for the process to finish. After that, use the Explorer to open the disk or ISO image containing the installation package. Copy image files to the flash drive and wait until it is over. When the copying process is over, your boot flash drive is ready. Then restart your computer, go to UEFI, set the computer to boot from the flash drive and install the operating system you need. The second method will be relevant if your computer has BIOS interface instead of UEFI. To create a boot flash drive, you will need official software by Microsoft – Windows 7 USB DVD Download Tool. You will find the link in the description of this video. Don't let the words Windows 7 worry you. This software is also good for Windows 8 and 10. To begin with, start the program. The first step is to select the system image file you need and click Next. The second step is to select the media type, in our case USB device. The third step is to select this flash drive from the list of all devices in your computer. In my case it is disk W and click Begin copying. You will see a warning that all data will be deleted. If you don't have any important files on this drive, click Erase USB device. Confirm your decision to delete all files and wait until the files are copied to your USB drive. When it is over, you will see a message Backup completed, which means the boot flash drive is ready to use. The third method is to create a boot drive with a command prompt started by the administrator. The advantage of this method is that you don't have to download and use any additional software, for example, if you can't access the Internet, and your device will work with both BIOS and UEFI. To begin with, right-click on the Start menu and click on Command Prompt Administrator. Then enter the command Disk Port and then List Disk. In the list of all disks installed in the computer, find the flash drive, in my case that is disk 5, and enter the command Select Disk 5, so all actions will affect this particular disk. At this stage, you have to be very careful, because all data will be deleted from the selected disk. Then enter the command Clean, which cleans the flash drive's partition table. We can see a report saying that disk cleanup was successful. Now create a partition on this flash drive with the command Create Partition Primary. And enter Select Partition 1, that is, select this partition. Make it active with the command Active. Format the flash drive in NTFS format with the command Format FS 
equals NTFS quick. And wait until the formatting process is 100% completed. Assign a drive letter, for example X, using the command assign letter equals X. And finish the work of disk part with the command exit. Close the command prompt and copy files from the image onto the flash drive as in the first method. When the copying process is over, your boot flash drive is ready. The fourth method is to use the utility Windows Media Creation Tool to create a boot flash drive for Windows 8 or Windows 10. You will find download links in the description below this video. All you need is a working Windows 8 or 10, a 4 GB flash drive or bigger, and this utility. I will work with the example of Windows 10. To begin with, connect the USB drive to the computer and start the program. After you start the program, agree to the license agreement, select Create a boot media for another computer, use the necessary settings or recommended settings for this computer, select USB flash memory device, Click on the necessary USB drive, in my case it is disk X, and click Next. After that, the process of creating a boot drive begins. When it is over, the boot drive is ready and you can use it. When testing all these methods on HP DC7800 computer, I had the following problem. BIOS recognized the flash drive and Windows booted from it, but froze in the first window. I could solve this problem only by updating its BIOS to the latest version. So, if you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching and good luck!